All right, let's rock and roll. Let's kick some ass. Let's get off. <laughs> I'm funny. All right. So, I was recommended off by a few friends. No, it's not. I'm good. Uh, I'm going in blind as usual. They said that uh, I like RPG Maker games. They're kind of like psychologically like fucking around with you. Uh, then I should probably play off, and I like psychological horror, and I like RPG Maker, I like that Oni, and I liked, um, <sighs> Ebe, I don't know why it took me so long to blank on that, by the way, I do know that there is an updated version of Ebe, and I will be playing that eventually, but I'm just taking a break from it for now. Um, the reason I'm naming myself Swing is because I knew that the main character was a batter. Again, I'm going in blind for the most part. Uh, I know literally nothing about the game. All I know is that you play as a baseball player and it's an RPG. The batter has an important mission to be sure that's accomplished, blah, blah, blah. Oh. I know the judge is a Cheshire cat ish character thing. Alright. Let's have some fun. Alright. Thank you, Batter. to be any other living beings in Zone Zero, so I must assume that you're only a mere figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the Judge, and I am aching to know your name, dear illusory interlocutor. In interlock? What? <laughs> I'm the better. I've been assigned to a sacred mission. It is a pleasure. However, it is not the puppet I was addressing, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? His name is Swing. He can't talk to us. However, he can hear and see everything. Even though you are but an inexistent apparition in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Swing. I believe we are in need of your services. Many people are in need of my services. You know, everybody loves cats. We rub ourselves against their legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see. But what sort of service could I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laughable than you, or laudable, laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area, if it is any help to you. Thanks. All right. It's impossible to get around this obstacle. <laughs> Is my oh, is it? Uh, so same, same shit, different day. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, sweet. Class save here. Raid purifier statute pure. Interesting. What the hell bad? Nothing defensive, nothing special. Pack 69. Defense 45. 
Speed Spirit 45, Agility 57. Okay. Quit and save. Alright, um... Let's keep going. Allow me to confess that I find you quite tangible for a phantasmagorial being. Might you, in fact, be a creature of flesh and blood? I think so, yes. So I have been mistaken from the beginning. <laughs> you did not even interrupt me in my deluded phantasms. This is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given a chance to encounter in this loo. I had in fact concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. Obviously, I was misled. However, there exist other zones, and in those territories, the risk of hostile individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite frequent. Your sacred mission will likely lead you into these lands. Would you like me to teach you the art of violent confrontation? <laughs> um, sure. And I decided to skip the tutorial for your guys' sakes, but I just kind of wanted to check it to see if it was kind of like your standard RPG, and it is. Competence of spells. From now on, you'll be ready to crush all impure obstacles that get in your luminous mission's way. Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capability of dealing bat blows to an innocent cat. Be it as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me if you still want me as your guide. Alright. Ah yes, to pass through here you need to use your cerebral organ. You know, the one bathing flabbily in your tired cranium. I believe those floating blocks correspond to the symbols you can see on the wall in some way or another. So what you're telling me is one, two, three, four. Okay, neat. Oh, so it's like a puzzle RPG. RPG. Alright, easy enough. Or, wait, what? One, two, six, eight, two, three. Buttons here, though. Is there a problem? My dear pictorial heroes, I am not your janitor. I cannot do everything for you. Nonetheless, may I dare to suggest you wage activating certain ones of these strange floating blocks more than one at a time if required? Okay. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hey! A piece of silver flesh has been found. Recurs a moderate amount of. Okay. Oh. 448287C. What? Do I have to press them a certain amount of times? 448287. Four, four, eight, two, eight, seven. Oh, four, 
door for eight two eight seven complete done all right well he's busy chowing down here is an accessory that is going to be especially helpful on your purifying quest, dear enlightened student and sportive friend. It is a cube, hovering in midair, as you have likely noticed. Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from similar ones. By the contrast of bad taste, it, is Im it imposes on your view of its clashing color, defying any sensible course of plastic arts. <laughs> However, do not judge it too quickly, because despite its criti- <sighs> I can't do it fast. Criticable, criticable appearance, it, this red cube is undeniable, is of undeniable use. Aside from rendering you the entirety of your health and competence points, it is capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness. The nothingness is a is a loo of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try it out in order to discover locations more uh, more populous than this deserted land. Open your wings, my dear companion, and hurry away towards the following zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Okay. Do not worry. I do. Okay. Ah, by the way, by the by, take this. This object of a curious name will be the key that permits you to enter zone one. Have, a cl have I clarified that you can at any time consult your inventory and characteristics by pressing the escape key? The Leo card has been found. Health points and confidence points completely restored. Save game. Blocks. Block one. Alright, um... Objects. I got something new, didn't I? Yeah, he gave me the Leo card. Huh. Oh, there it is. It was hidden. Permits access to zone one. All right. To the... Huh. Alright. Zone 1. I guess, uh... I guess we'll pick up here and enter Zone 1 in, in the next video. Uh, Zone 3, Zone 2... The Room. Alright, well, um... Talk to you later, guys.